Hey, Ted. Hey, how's it going, man? Finally going okay. How are you? Doing good. Yeah, I heard you were sick. Sorry. Glad yeah, to see I you feeling better. Poisoning. And, you know, like normally food poisoning lasts for a day or something. And I was out from last Wednesday afternoon, like late afternoon until this morning. Oof. Yeah. Oof. It was terrible. I And then I got an ear infection at the same time, which was just like the cherry on top of the... On yeah. Top of the pile. So yeah. Oh, anyway, nice. doing a lot better now, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Uh, let's give people a few more minutes before they join. Bogdan, you're back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just got back this morning. I came back last night, so. Morgan, where are you coming from? Me? Uh, well, basically the toilet, because I had food poisoning. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Uh, you know that this is on record now. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who emailed me in the last week would have gotten the auto response explaining that I was sick and why. <laughs> Let's start at 4.04, because we are four past the hour. Mm -hmm. Like someone nicely already got the uh, got the agenda going. M says they can't hear. Right. I think it's just them. No, yeah, because, uh, yeah, it sounds okay for the rest of us, because we're all talking to each other. Oh, they fixed it. Woo! Yeah. All right, one more. Yeah. The first topic, is that going to be Constance, I'm guessing? Because I, I know she sent out an email about it. Um, no, I, that'll be me. I actually think Constance can't make it to this meeting, or at least not the first part. Yeah, she can't make it. Too. Oh, OK. So that'll be Ted. Perfect. People, one more minute until the clock strikes, strikes four after. <clears throat> All right, it's 4.04. Uh, so welcome everybody to the monthly Open Telemetry Community Meeting. Uh, this is where we get together, discuss status, and go over any other community news or community issues. Uh, <coughs> a lot of us uh, just spent some time together at KubeCon, which was pretty exciting. Uh, so there will be less to discuss at this meeting than usual, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we have the agenda shared in the calendar invite, so if you use that to join, there's a link to the agenda there. And the first item on the agenda is Ted, community feedback. Ted, you want to pick that up? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, we're continuously evolving uh, and growing this project. Um, we evolved our um, uh, RFC specification process over the summer, uh, but we haven't really had like a big community check-in about uh, the general sort of project structure. So. You know, the way we're kind of set up is there's a governance committee uh, that creates a charter for a technical committee, which helps manage a bunch of SIGs, special interest groups, and each special interest group uh, has a set of membership tiers uh, and contribution requirements needed to, to reach each tier. And so it would be great to just get some feedback from the community about how that process has been going and how, how we could improve it. Um, and it could really just be general purpose feedback as well. If there's just something about the project where you're like, oh, I see this thing and I wish it was better. Uh, and you prefer to submit that feedback through an anonymous form, uh, uh, we're providing a form for that feedback as well. So the people who will be reading this feedback will be the governance committee. Um, you can optionally include your name and email if you'd like to have a follow-up conversation, but it's also fine to include anonymous feedback. Uh, so it can really be about anything, but we're primarily interested in the, the structure of the project and ways our structure or our process could be approved. Yeah. 
Any questions uh, about that? Uh, Ted, I would like to make more advertising of this. Maybe post it on Gitter uh, and yeah, Gitter is yeah. probably the best thing. And uh, everyone who is from uh, from other SIGs, please make advertise of this form in your SIG meetings so that everyone has a chance yep. to know about the existence of this and uh, and provide feedback. I think that's great. We could also post on Twitter, but it's probably a terrible idea. No, no, no. Let's <laughs> not. Do, let's not do that. Unless you post it on your Twitter, so then we get all the feedback for you. No. <laughs> Any other comments on it? All right. Next topic is from Chris, target release date for clients. Yeah, so right now we've got uh, December 31st as the release date for the V4 for all the clients. And uh, that was always kind of a placeholder. I don't think we actually expect to release anything on New Year's Eve. Um, yeah. So I'm just curious what, uh, what everybody thinks we ought to do here. Um, well, I definitely think People, we, we had um, in earlier days uh, discussed trying to keep the version numbers in sync and then I think eventually decided that that wasn't realistic to do. Yeah. Um, so I would say like individual SIGs, uh, at least personally what I would suggest is like individual SIGs just continue to ship at a regular cadence. Um, in terms of like versioning the spec, I'm trying to get a version of the spec hopefully in by end of next week. That seems tight, but I really would like us to be shipping a 0.3 release of the spec and to have that contain what I think are sort of the, uh, the last issues modulo, the kind of named name tracer resource stuff. But uh, that seems like that'll land well. Um, but obviously if we're releasing that spec at the end of next week, I wouldn't expect people to be implementing that over Christmas break. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I already I have know. my New Year's Eve party plan. I'm sitting and working on open telemetry. Yeah, can't imagine why not. <laughs> um, so your suggestion is that each language say come up with their own dates, likely I'm guessing in January for most of them. Yeah, I mean, but I would say like keep shipping versions. Don't worry about the, the version number. Um, as far as like improving the, the spec, I would like this 0.3 release to ideally be the last major changes. And I don't even know that the changes, the changes actually are like getting uh, narrowed down. Uh, so I don't think it'll be too invasive when we do it. But um, my hope is in general, in Q1, starting in January, we'll be able to start pivoting more towards productionizing what we have and, um, you know, putting it through its paces, uh, writing instrumentation for it and stuff of that nature. Yes, yeah, so this is this is my second question about the specs then. Um, we don't, we don't right now have a schedule for beta and GA. And I know we, we've talked about having a GA release in March. Um, but one thing I think we haven't really described is the well, tests that we want in place before we call our releases GA. And I think this is yeah. probably something we need to focus on in January. So as as we have the final version of the spec um, and we know about what every client needs to implement, I think it'd be really helpful to also have the like the set of tests and guarantees that we, we want to call the releases GA. Yeah. Um, maybe like beginning of January, we can have a sort of some kind of like kickoff meeting to uh, specifically brainstorm around like what what is the checklist that we want to to go through to make sure like what are the specific things that that we're looking for to say like this is a GA release like what do we want to test what tests do we want to have in place um, what's a good uh, form for that is that like is that something the technical committee should do yeah I think I think it's fine uh, to be part of the technical committee charter to define that. okay yeah, um, but maybe it's like getting that plan together and then presenting it to the community, getting like some community feedback. It would be good to have a, maybe there's a, a community meeting that's timed in like early January where you can, you yeah, can do that. Yeah, see when ours is. Should 
January 8th at 10 a.m. PST. Do we just want to do it there, or is that too early? Uh, uh, January 8th may be tough. Uh, I would probably, uh, but <clears throat> do we need to do that in a community meeting? No, not necessarily. It, it could be, be that or the spec meeting, but it, it seems like we, I would like, uh, maybe the TC can get a, a draft together early so we can get around to feedback in uh, in early January. So. Okay, so let's say, let's, let's plan for this. Let's have the TC get something together and then we'll get early feedback um, by posting it on Gitter in the mailing list. Just like get written feedback. Does that sound good? Sounds great. Okay. Um, how do we get this like onto the, I, I'm not, I don't go to the TC meetings. How do we make sure the TC actually takes action on this? Bogdan, do you want to? Yeah, uh, I would agree. Thank you. Yeah. All right, any other thoughts on this topic? Moving on, uh, KubeCon summary for the community. Bogdan, uh, you added this, do you want to speak, speak to it? Uh, no, I was curious if uh, we should do this in this meeting and if yes, probably you are the best person or Sergey who wrote the, I mean, the, I, I saw the, the write up, it's very yeah. good, but yeah. if, let's, let's rephrase the question. If anyone has any question about what happened at KubeCon uh, for, for people that were not there, and they don't know what we did. Or didn't read Sergey's excellent write-up. It was a great write-up. It, it kind of covered everything. Um, is anyone on the call have any questions about KubeCon or, or want to go over the different things that were presented? I guess, where is the write-up shared? Uh, I would like to get access to Yeah, that. I, I uh, actually pasted the link into the notes uh, on this topic. Uh, right. It's also just on the Open Telemetry Media blog. It's the most recent post. Um, so yeah, Sergey summarized uh, the keynotes, the talks that we had as part of the community, and also the community meetup that we held. Uh, and finally, uh, the Observability Summit, uh, which Ted had organized. Uh, Ted and others, I think, sorry, had organized. Um, and yeah, it's a very thorough write-up. Uh, speaking for myself, having done two of the talks there, I, I think it was a big success. Um, and uh, yeah, I was really excited just to see how large the community has grown and how often open telemetry is being referenced in talks and like other projects and things that we didn't even set up. It was super, super awesome. Yeah. I saw a write up in Japanese blow by uh, just looking through Twitter. So we're big in Japan. It's nice. always a good sign. Yeah, it was, it was amazing, like, especially the observ observability summit, seeing how people were already using open telemetry or other things that I think a lot of us have worked on, like trace context, uh, in ways that we hadn't originally imagined or uh, ways that we hadn't really heard about until we, we went to the talks. So. Super successful. Uh, very excited for the next KubeCon in Amsterdam because we will, uh, with any luck, be going beta then. So it should be a big deal. Yeah. Maybe yeah. even VA, who knows? Uh, so, yeah, uh, looking forward to that. Also, we can put a plug in and say the talks are all now online too. So if anybody's interested in watching them on this call, you can go find them on YouTube. Oh, yeah, there's YouTube videos. That, yeah. Uh, and they're accessible on the CNCF website. And I want to say that uh, Sergey also may have linked to them in his post. Double checking. Yeah, they're all linked in the post. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, if you did weren't able to attend KubeCon, uh, it's an awesome summary. And speaking of Sergey, the next topic is yours: community bridge projects. Yeah, I just wanted to highlight your attention. If you want to be a mentor of uh, like some students, I'm not sure all the details about this program or how it works exactly. Uh, but uh, my understanding is that uh, CNCF will sponsor um, five projects. Uh, uh, connecting mentors from CNCF projects to students who wants to get some experience. Um, so you can uh, either take one of those projects and like put your name as a mentor. I'm totally fine with any additions or uh, put on more projects there. These, these cool. are pr proposals for projects or these already have funding? 
proposals. This is a bunch of proposals, and CNCF somehow will pick five. I'm not sure about process here. Cool. Oh, wow. So people already, Sergey, did you, I'm guessing you pasted the ones that are already on the page? Because there's already several open telemetry projects there. Yeah, I put them there. Awesome. Yeah, Z pages would be great. Integrations registry. Nice. It's all the projects that are not on a uh, critical path, but uh, yeah. still very important for our community. Yep. Uh, Morgan, in that same note, should we try to propose some of these to GSOC? Yeah, we and we have in previous years uh, to Google Summer of Code. Yeah, we should definitely uh, do that. I, I suggest maybe we just use the same list. Yeah, using the same yeah. list. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe the ones that the CNCF does not approve and whatever. Yeah, that yeah, sounds good. I don't. When does that happen? I know we do it every year. I just forget what time of year it is. I don't know exactly, but it's it's they'll, only they'll email us. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take action when I get the email. Okay. Yeah, it's a great list. Thanks for coming up with that, Sergey. And yeah, as Sergey said, if anyone has additional ideas, please add them. Or if anyone wants to mentor, um, I can think of a few people for Z Pages, for example, from Google. Um, then please sign yourselves up and mentor. All right. Next is SIG updates, starting with the collector. I think I saw Tigran. Do you want to yeah. talk to that? Yeah. 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 I'll give an update. Uh, so our focus recently was primarily on two areas. Number one is uh, improving stability and making sure the collector is ready for production use. And number two is reviewing and accepting new components from other contributors, we had AWS exporter, Azure exporter. On the stability track, we have recently added metric testing to the collector test bed, in addition to trace testing that already exists. And we plan to add more more end-to-end -end tests or uh, protocols supported by Collector, uh, add more of those automated tests to the continuous integration builds. Um, this is basically part of the effort from Splunk that we announced recently that we want to contribute more to the Collector and we plan to use the Collector more widely in our observability products instead of proprietary or other open source agents we have. So we want to make sure it's stable and uh, good for production use and uh, and the other part of this effort is contributing um, functionality that we have in other agents, which we believe is useful for yeah. complementary community. Um, uh, another important update on the collector is regarding the stability of exported interfaces in our code base. Uh, so we were planning to announce that public interfaces consumable by third party dependencies are stable. However, uh, this announcement needs to wait until we declare the open telemetry protocol uh, as final and approved by the specification SIG. Uh, since we plan to, uh, to make use of the protocol schema in the internal of the code base. So uh, I just want to make sure that, that all of the contributors who develop components for the computer, they are aware that these interfaces they depend on, they are not declared stable yet and may change. Uh, in which requ may require changes. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do our best to minimize interface changes, but, but uh, so contributors yeah. need to be aware that breaking changes are still possible. When do we expect the protocol to be final? Uh, whenever I think the specification SIG uh, decides that there will no longer be major new uh, concepts introduced in the API, like new types of metrics which require representation yeah. of the protocol. I would say we are pretty close there. Yeah. Do we have oh, some criteria for when we declare like that spec as being final? I'm just asking if someone who doesn't sit on the spec sig. So, uh, Tigran, a couple of things here. Even though we may add new aggregations or new things, that will be backwards compatible, correct? So, in terms of in terms of the protocol being finalized, we we haven't made any commitment that we will not add new features or new things. But what we'll do, we'll do it in a backwards compatible way. So, I think from that regard, I I would expect that the protocol to be very very soon done. Yeah. Yeah. So I would 
only add, like, since Bogdan, you close us to metrics, uh, open metrics project. Uh, I really hope we can review our protocol with them before we say in final yes. Yeah. Tigran, I haven't looked at it recently, but does the protocol currently contain a place to put resources, right? Yep, yeah, it does. It does, okay. Just double checking that that's not a, a thing we're still waiting on. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't anticipate, I personally don't see any spec changes on the horizon, except for maybe some final cleanup with metrics. Uh, I don't see anyone I've talked to proposing something that would really change the protocol. That's, uh, that's the only worry that that, that final cleanup may uh, yeah. remove some concepts, may re redefine concepts. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. has a direct connection to how they are represented in the protocol or may have a connection. That is, uh, that is the reason. Yeah. We can discuss uh, separately. I, I don't think that should block us, but yes. Well, I, I mean, it's going to block us just saying that everything's final and interfaces are stable, which at the moment it's not true so that, that's that's okay i mean in our write-up on specifications repository a protocol was in the v 0 0.4 so we were yeah. saying like let's do 0 0.3 and like lock it this down and then we it. uh that's okay. what uh, probably tigran is uh, referring to um anyway can i go next because i probably need to drop off soon sure dot net um i think uh Big focus for, not, for us right now is to implement metrics. We have uh, we are making progress there, and we're trying to understand the specifications and uh, uh, implement them as uh, close to specifications as we can. Uh, so, if you have any uh, spare cycles to look at metrics API specifically, you are most than welcome. Um, tracing API, we're wrapping up. We trying out scenarios and making sure that customers can work with this API, um, and we hope that we'll close on like all the concepts for zero point three. Year. Uh, next year for stabilization efforts, we probably will have a lot of uh, rearrangements. Uh, uh, I mean, maybe I'm not sure how big or small uh, to uh, make sure that uh, all open telemetry concepts works nicely with uh, uh, .NET concepts. So maybe we can uh, move some of those uh, down to the uh, .NET itself, and that will require some changes. But those are good changes, and I think we can. Uh, accommodate them by like and uh, at least plan them by March. So we're pretty much on track, I think. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna move back uh, back to the top. Uh, so we already did collectors. Now we're on specs. Yeah. Um, so specs, I I would say are moving along. Uh, I've got um, this context prop that's in its final stages. I actually was able to figure out some simplifications that Bogdan, I think, will make you happy that I want to put in there. And I'd like to catch up with you in general on this subject. But that uh, OTEP needs a couple final approvals. Uh, and uh, once we get those, we'll be able to quickly turn this into a spec because we've already got people actively working on implementations in five languages. Uh, so I think once it's approved and people are happy with the prototypes, adding it to the spec will be easy. But if I could get an approval or final comments there, I'd appreciate it. Um, in general, the, the spec and OTEP backlogs are in need of triage. Um, they're not like too, too terrible, but I do think there's a lot of uh, issues that are just sort of hanging around open and it would be great to just kind of burn down the backlog. Um, in general, I wonder if there's a way we could add some process if it's just regular triage meetings or something like that, uh, because it seems like the specs and, and the OTEPs are a place where there'll be like a wave of energy and people paying attention to it, yeah. but sustaining, sustaining that attention seems to be a little difficult right now. No. So that, that's my feedback about where the specs are currently at. Do we, um, is it worth setting up like a, just like a meeting for the, well, spec sig meets every week, right? Like just dedicating one of those to just clearing through the backlog? 
Yeah, I, I've been trying to add sort of triage parties to the calendar. Uh, I yeah. ended up having come down to SF this week and I kind of, you know, drove a truck through my schedule. Yeah. But like next week, I'm happy to add more. I will say the spec meetings, we always seem to have enough stuff happening that we we use that whole spec meeting uh, yeah. for other purposes. So it hasn't been feasible to have it do double duty. It would be worth setting up a, a special one then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that can be an AI. All right. Now on to Java. Bogdan, <clears throat> do you want to be the person to speak to that or should there be someone? Yeah. Uh, we didn't make too much progress, mostly because Kubicon, I had some uh, uh, emergency problems, so I had to leave for a week and a half. And yeah, it was, it was a very bad time. But uh, we should be back on track in two or three weeks. Okay. We have a uh, auto instrumentation. Know if we have anyone on this call who's from there, but if we do, can you please speak up? I guess in theory I am, ah. but uh, yeah. uh, I've been uh, attending a bunch of conferences. Trasks. Has, Trask has been making progress. Uh, I've been reviewing some PRs. John Watson from New Relic has been reviewing some PRs. And, uh, but I think Trask gets most of the credit. So I can't really yeah. for him. Okay. Seems like it's coming along though. Yeah, it's it's on track. I think it, it took a, a little bit of time for everyone to find alignment on like exactly what we're building. But the at the last meeting, Trask presented a couple alternate designs and it felt like like there was general consensus on where that project was going. So it feels good. All right, next is go. And someone already filled this in. So it looks like Metrics SDK is in good shape. Context propagation is work in progress. And the hotel collector exporter will be available in point four after the protocol spec version. That makes sense. OK, glad to hear about the Metrics SDK. Next is JavaScript, also filled in. Uh, so they've completed a getting started guide. I guess we're getting started guide. Um, they have the collector exporter uh, and MySQL and Redis plugins. Wow. Um, and a few more bug fixes and examples. Excellent. Python v3 is released, but some features are moved to v4, including the me metrics aggregation, Prometheus exporter. Okay, we have an additional maintainer. Excellent. All clean to the community. Uh, and some there's some uh, work that's blocked on specs. That's uh, Chris, because I know you're on the call and you're on Python. Yep. Um, is this? The work that's blocked on other languages, or is it specific to Python? Uh, yeah, it's probably blocked everywhere except for the languages where the prototypes are being written. So, for example. Uh, OK. That makes sense. Um, OK, so it's, metrics are still blocked on Python? Yeah, well, this this is like up to us to actually spend the time reviewing the specs and the OTAPs. It's the same deal for context propagation. Like, OK. Like specs are kind of being starved as people are working on the clients. OK. Yeah. Um, context prop, just by the way, Chris, we've got uh, some people here who are going to help uh, Yusuke get that over the finish line. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Python auto instrumentation. Cool. Uh, we've an auto install already, waiting on some legalese. Yeah. And waiting on legal. I yeah. It's a, so there is like an auto installer. Uh, we've been helping uh, port it over based on the Datadog flavor, but because that had a different license from the Apache one and yada yada, uh, we've just been waiting for their lawyers at Datadog to be satisfied that everybody's happy and we're dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Yeah. Uh, next is Ruby. Do we have anyone from the Ruby work group on the call? Uh, okay, I'll assign that to Francis. C++ uh, update focuses currently on metrics. Would like to review, would like to review the metrics API that's currently under development. Uh, I don't know who wrote that, but uh, if you want to speak up or add your name there, um, I'm sure you can uh, review the, the spec changes. 
Oh, no, you're asking, for, uh, sorry, I think this, they're asking for a review of the metrics API by someone else. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. Uh, .NET, Sergey already did that. Now on to Rust. Do we have anyone from Rust on the call? Yeah. Don't think so. I know uh, I've not been directly involved with the Rust group, but I do know that that's, that is now a real thing. Um, they have uh, uh, ported over uh, an implementation based on, from what I understand, I'm sorry if I'm getting this wrong, but based on a pre-existing Rust project meeting up with uh, basically the Go API. So looking at what was made in Go and making a REST API somewhat based on the, the Go flavor of open telemetry. Um, but there's some brave souls have already deployed it to production from what I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. uh, yeah, they're hopping along. Okay, awesome. Um, anyone from Erlang? All right. Okay, I'll add Tristan. Uh, website, I don't know if Austin's on the call. I was out last week, so I have yeah. no idea if anything was done He's on the website. I kind of doubt it just because, oh, Amelia, you can speak to it. I, I, I can, Austin is out this week. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. so probably nothing was done on the yeah. site. That's fine, yeah. we made a big push before KubeCon. So that, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, as always, just a, you know, a general request if people are interested in, you know, uh, as SIGs are moving forward, we, we still need like basic content on the website. Uh, so if you're interested in writing, whether it's like the overview content or something specific about the language you work in, um, uh, the, definitely anything is better than nothing. And there's a lot of nothing on the website right now. So please yeah. help. And we're more than happy to proofread. Okay. And finally, education, not formally SIG. I don't I didn't write that, but if anyone has context, could you please share? Oh, I think this uh, uh probably I think Liz uh put this up uh okay. last uh week and I just kind of blindly copy and pasted it over. Uh, but uh, I do think, yeah, we're going to try to do some workshops at KubeCon uh, EU. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else has any other workshops or meetups or things planned, but if, if you do, please list them here. Awesome. All right, that's it. Are there any other topics for today's monthly meeting that we want to go over? Oh, actually, I do have one. Um, we were talking, we talked about this offline, but moving the community meetings to not be in the same week as the public governance meeting, and so there'd be two weeks off. So mm. that way, then there's two sets of opportunities for the community to actually reach people, a wider set of people, instead of it being Wednesday afternoon to Thursday morning. <laughs> sure. And given that January is the new year, maybe that's a good opportunity to do that. Okay, so I'm just looking at the schedule now. Yeah. So the governance public meeting will be on the 9th of January. So are you suggesting we just move the monthly OT, the community meetings maybe back by one week or two weeks? Uh, I'd say two weeks. Always every okay. two weeks we have something. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Um, is it okay if I just make that change? Yeah. I think you should. Is it Bogdan, I can't hear you, sir. I think I think the rule is uh, uh, the governance meeting is the second week, correct? Uh, looks like it. Yeah. And we can make it this the fourth week. Yeah. Yeah. Monthly on the second Thursday for the for the governance public meeting. And this can be monthly on the fourth. The fourth. fourth. Yeah. Wednesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I will make that change and I will uh, update the. Uh, calendar and I'll send out a message on Gitter to everybody. Yeah. And FYI, it might be slightly weird, Borg, uh, uh, Morgan, when you look at it, because the monthly meeting, community meeting also alternates yeah, time slots. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, I know just, that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. All righty. Uh, and I'll add that to notes right now. All right, any other topics that people want to bring up?
It was fun seeing everyone at KubeCon. We should do more regular meetups. Yeah. Cool. All right. I will see everyone when I see you. Uh, if you don't happen to attend any OT meetings uh, prior to the new year, uh, happy holidays and have a happy new year. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you later. Yeah. Aloha. Bye. Bye.